So this week we're going to be drawing a bunch of animals, and of course I thought I would just plug uh, the West Suburban Humane Society, where I usually volunteer, not right now during the pandemic, uh, but they are doing adoptions by appointment. If you are in need of a, a wonderful cat or dog, you can check out their website. But we're going to be drawing some animals this week. Today we're going to start with drawing a side view of a dog. So enjoy. So. Let's take a look at some side views of an animal. Now, when I draw an animal, the first thing I look for are three parts. The head, the torso or the chest, and the rear, the butt or the rump, okay? Um, I've highlighted these here on this picture. You can see they make little circles. The chest usually being the largest circle. Here in a dog, the butt there circle is a little bit higher than the chest, okay? The top is about even, and the head is the smallest. On an animal like a cat, the head again is gonna be the smallest, but the, the torso and the butt are about the same size. Here's our horse, smaller the head. Yeah, we would have to extend this part out. We would on most animals. Uh, very large chest. And then the rump there is a little bit smaller, again, higher, uh, but even at the top. But you can get, uh, you know, very different type animal like the elephant here, very large head, torso, and all connected, no really space between it, huge here. Uh, so it really depends on the animal, but I'm looking for those three parts. Now, if you were to draw an animal more from the front view, um, again, those might be a little more oval or egg shaped there. Those are the three sections I'm looking for um, when I begin a drawing of an animal, okay? So, most people voted uh, that they were dog people, they like dogs the most, so we're gonna focus on doing a dog drawing today. So let's take this picture here, and we are going to begin our drawing. All right, today we're gonna draw the dog from the side view. All you need is pencil and paper. Eraser on the back of the pencil would be great. If not, separate eraser also works well. Now I'm not gonna draw the full side of the page. That would be a lot. Uh, but I'm gonna try and fill up that space pretty well. Now I talked about earlier those three circles to begin with. And the first being chest. So don't worry about making a perfect circle. You can see I keep it nice and sketchy. Keep it light so that you can erase. There's, that's kind of his chest. We want his butt here to be the same height as the top of this circle, but a little bit smaller of a circle. Okay. And then we know his head's gonna be coming up from this area here, and we're just drawing that's the smallest of the three circles. All right, so I'm drawing a little bit darker than I normally would because I want it to be show up on the camera. So there we go, we have the chest, the butt, and the head, all right? Uh, now we can start adding those extra details and, and connecting these together. For example, a line that goes across there, and this comes down in there. And then if you want, you can start to erase. See, this is where if you drew lightly, it pays off, much easier to erase. All right, so there's our body of our dog. And then this curves right up, kind of like one continuous line, as you can see on the picture, right up into his head, right up in the edge of that circle. And then this comes down right at the edge of that circle, right down, flows nice and smoothly right of that chest right there. Just like that. And now we have some more lines to erase. We don't want to see those. Sorry, probably shaking that camera a little bit when I erase. Okay, and then we gotta get we gotta get the uh, muzzle or the snout of the dog in there. All right, uh, it doesn't start right at the top; it comes down a little bit. You can see in the picture, and then comes straight across. Okay, angles back a little bit. It's got a little bit of a curve there. It's not a point, and back in towards that main circle. 
okay probably a little bit wider here than it was over at the end there it gets a little bit bigger okay then it's going to curve back out and goes right to about the, the right here where that line curves down we'll get And then we need to do some erasing as well in there. Okay. We need to add an ear. That's just a triangle. With rounder corners, not real pointy corners. All right. We got an eyeball in there. Eyeball is going to be kind of right behind where this, you know, this comes straight across and it's like a V on its side with a little round part in there. Okay. We can see some teeth. Got three of them back here. Got one big tooth up here. And then his tongue is kind of hanging out right in the middle there. And finally, we can get his nose in that corner right there. And that's starting to look like a dog's face, right? Now we got to work on getting his legs and his tail. All right. Here's how I like to do the back legs. I like to think of them, okay, if we go right from the back of this circle, come kind of straight down and make a triangle. Okay, see that triangle right there? That's, that's the like, haunter, his, his main part of his leg. Uh, then I'm going to add, kind of coming up that back of the triangle, not, not right off this edge here, kind of around here, we're gonna make a little oval. All right, kind of like a hot dog. Right at the bottom, another little circle, or, or like egg shape. And then we're going to kind of erase all those in-between spots. And then we'll smooth that out a little bit so it's not so jagged here. We'll have a nice little curve there, curves up into there. And then I like to draw this so it curves up into the body. It kind of shows where the body versus the leg is. The other leg is just kind of right behind us, so we just kind of mimic these lines this one looks just like this that looks just like that and then can we kind of make this rounder and there's that other leg all right you know what stop much shorter in the picture it was way up here a little more space between those legs there so they're not right next to each other his tail is really easy. We're just gonna draw two lines in there. You can always erase where his tail meets. Although you can have to keep a little bit of it there for that back leg. Okay, it's not, it doesn't go all the way across. There's a little bit of space right in here. Clean up some of these. All right, now we gotta get those front legs. Okay. Um, again, it starts a little bit wider here at the top and narrows down. That's about it. All straight down. Now you're gonna see the front legs on each on this side should be about the same height. You don't want it to be his legs be shorter in the in the front. All right. I'm not drawing individual, you know, paws on there right now. I'm just getting the whole foot at once. And I race there to connect it. And then the other leg comes out a little bit forward here. Looks like he's ready to get like a treat or something. Bends for the last second and here's his other paw. Clean that up a little bit. We don't erase in there. That will make it look like the leg is behind there. And there you go, we have a nice little dog there. Uh, we wanna give it a little bit of shading and texture. So here's how I do that. Um, you are going to probably need some kind of tissue or paper towel or toilet paper or something to blend it. 
if you have to your finger uh, but not the best so we can see the top of the dog is actually a little bit darker in color it gets a little bit darker in this back leg here we can smooth that out a little bit there and we get the legs are a little bit darker than the chest there's ears definitely darker okay and so what we're going to do is I'm going to give him all kind of a light gray to begin with. Just a light. It might not even show up on that camera. I'm just giving him a really light gray to begin with so that he's definitely a little darker than the paper. He's not going to, we don't want to, he's not a white dog. Get down some right in this pause. Gonna blend some of that in. Because I held my pencil down at that low angle when I was shading, not up like this. Like this and that allows it to blend really easy okay so now I've got a slight gray in my dog Let's see if I can zoom in for some of this here. All right. now what I want to do again holding at that nice low angle I'm gonna add some darker shading at the top okay it comes right down in the shoulder area here goes up it's darker here again kind of comes down in almost like little striped or zigzag pattern here and then right above his back leg yeah all of this area is dark in here and his tail look at his tail gets darker as it gets towards the tip so it can start out a little bit lighter and then as it gets toward the tip I'm pushing harder and harder look how that looks like it gets darker back of his leg is definitely darker so don't forget about this leg back here. It's a little bit darker into there. Then this whole leg is dark. Not as dark as the back leg, but definitely needs some shading. And same with this leg towards the bottom. His, not, his, his nose up here could use a little bit of shading right up here. His ear... and bottom jaw a little bit. We can get his eye in there really dark. All right. And we're gonna leave the tongue for now. I'm gonna take that paper towel and blend that in again. We don't wanna see all those scribbly lines. Then we're gonna add some little bit of fur texture and we'll be done, okay? Just blending that stuff in, looking good. Now we're going to do some fur texture. We're not going to go too crazy here, uh, otherwise it'll take too long. Fur, you want to do lots and lots of little lines, always in the direction that the fur is going. So here's an example of lots of little lines that are very dark. Okay, that's called hatching. Right. Once we do the hatching, we don't want to do any more blending with the paper towel because then it'll get rid of the texture that we want to see for the fur. So make sure your pencil might, be, might need to sharpen it up to get really fine lines in there. I'm going to sharpen mine and get a nice tip on there. And what we're going to do is lots and lots of little lines. Don't go too dark. It'll be too obvious. But don't do long lines because that'll look like long hair in a dog. You would do that on some kind of, you know, fancy a poodle or something like this. But I think there's a Labrador. He's got shorter fur. And this, this actually stuff can take the longest. Um, I'm not going to do the fur in the light areas. We don't really see much fur in there. I'm just going to kind of do it in the darker areas. And I'm trying not to go in like specific patterns. You don't want to do like perfect little rows like this. Because it'll look very stylized. Um, and hair is more chaotic. So just kind of scratching away at this. Imagine like a little bird pecking at it or something. Just lots and lots and lots. You can do them in his ear, but then the hair's coming straight down in that. It's not going, this kind of going diagonal this way. Fur in the ear is kind of going up and down like this. Honestly, the, the fur in the nose is so small, it would be almost like just polka dots. It's very small fur up in their face. If you want to get some up there, just barely, barely. I, there's really so small fur on here, I'm not even going to try in that lower jaw, okay? We see some, you know, down in his leg here. We could even get those paws in now. We can make little lines in there. 
you want to show those little paws puppy paws back here as well they just look like little parentheses yeah, lots more hatching of lines and then that'll be our, about it for our dog so I'll probably speed this video up to show that and hopefully you've spent about you know spent about 20 minutes making this drawing at this time we're probably about you know 15 minutes in if I spend another five minutes adding in lots and lots of lines like this that'll be a 20 minute assignment that's right about what we're supposed to be hitting for each day okay, take your time if you want to work extra and add more shading in and values go for it hopefully you enjoyed our drawing of the dog today